Welcome to Top 20 System Administrator Interview Questions and Answers. All but first questions are random orders with some positional relevance to make it easier to follow. Answers are specifically worded to make it as simple as possible to understand without losing meaning. Median salary for Microsoft System Administrator is around 60,000 US dollars. Question number one, can you tell me about yourself? To answer this question properly, provide any information about you that is related to system administrator position. Talk about any experience, education, or certifications. Do not speak of things that are not related, for example, hobbies that are irrelevant to IT. Question number two. Explain the role of a Windows Server. Windows Server is an operating system that uses a centralized computer that provides specific functions, predetermined rules for users and computers connected to a network. Question number three. What is Windows Domain? Windows Domain is a centralized location for user accounts, computers, printers, and security features as part of database controlled by a domain controller. Question number four. What is DNS and which port does it use? DNS stands for Domain Name System and it's mostly used to interpret domain names into numeric IP addresses. DNS uses port 53 TCP or UDP. As appreciation for my hard work and possibly helping you get this job, please take a moment to like this video, leave a comment, or share it with your friends. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Let's continue with our video. Question number five. How many queries does DNS perform and which ones? DNS performs two types of queries, iterative, and recursive. Question number six. What is Active Directory? A service of Windows Server operating system. Active Directory is used for user and computer authentication within a domain. It can also enforce security policies and install software to computers connected to a domain. Question number seven. Active Directory database is located where? Using file name ntds.dit, it is located in a system root ntds folder. Question number eight. What is a lingering object? If an object is deleted from Active Directory while the main controller is offline, it can create a lingering object. When object is deleted from Active Directory, a tombstone, which is temporary, is created, which is then has to be replicated by a domain controller before it expires. Question number nine. How do you back up Active Directory? Active Directory can be backed up by using NT Backup Tool that comes with 2003 server. With 2008 server, a command prompt is used to perform backup. You would type in wbadmin start system state backup dash backup target colon e. Question number 10. Do you know what garbage collection is? Garbage collection is a process designed to free space inside of the Active Directory. This is performed by default every 12 hours. Question number 11. Do you know what sys volume folder is? System volume folder is a directory that houses a copy of the main files found on a local hard drive within the main controller. 
This data is shared for purpose of replication across domain, for example, user login scripts and Windows group policy. Question number 12. What is RAID? Stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks and is used to provide data redundancy across multiple hard disks. It can also be utilized to improve read-write performance across the server by using striping configuration. For example, RAID 1, two or more disks with identical data stored, redundancy. RAID 0, two or more disks, data distribution evenly to improve performance, no redundancy. Question number 13. Which commands would you use in command line to test network connectivity? To test network connectivity, ping or IP config commands could be used. Also, trace route command could be used as well. Question number 14. What does Intelli Mirror do? As part of Windows Server operating system, Intelli Mirror provides assistance in managing user data, computer information, applications, and settings. This is used by user group policy that defines business roles, group memberships, and locations. For example, if a user moves to a different computer, the application settings and stored files will follow. Question number 15. Explain what group policy is. A group policy used to control users' desktops and computers' configuration by creating a default template for specific members of the group. This makes it easier to control and process large groups of users. Number 16. Can you name different types of email servers and which ports do they use? You can have two types of email servers. Incoming mail servers, which are POP3 port 110, IMAP, which uses port 143, and HTTP, which uses port 80. You can have an outgoing mail server, which uses SMTP port 25. Question number 17. What is the difference between a forest and a domain? A domain is a logic-based group of computers, users, and devices within Active Directory. A tree is a collection of domains. In case there are multiple trees formed, a forest is created. Question number 18. Do you know what virtual machine is? Virtual machine is an emulation version of operating system. You can have multiple copies of Windows Server running on a single hardware platform. This is mostly done through third-party software. Question number 19. Do you know what tattooing the registry means? Basically, the group policy will make the changes to user registry, but once the group policy is no longer in effect, Registry values would not revert back, leaving them tattooed in, so to speak. Question number 20. Why should we hire you? This is your last chance to impress potential employer. Talk about any other experiences that you may have related to this job. Mention things that any employer could ask for from their associates. For example, being dependable, hardworking, and being a team player. Friends, I know it can be hard to prepare for an interview and frankly nerve-wracking, but try to relax and answer all questions with confidence. It can be really hard to predict exact questions during an interview, so please study from many sources before taking up an interview to maximize your chances in succeeding. Also, don't forget to research the company beforehand. I wish you best of luck and check out my YouTube channel. I have vast amounts of material related to IT that can further help you and increase your chances in getting this job. Please like, comment, and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much. Again, best of luck to you.
拜。